Hey everyone, my name is Alexa and I am the Assistant Head of the Digital Services Department at the Niles Main District Library. Today I'm going to walk you through how to design your very own awesome summer drink koozie. We will be using the Silhouette Design software to do this. Let's get started. First, we are going to need to download the free design software. On any browser, go to the website silhouetteamerica.com. To the left of the home page's search bar, click the blue button that says software. There are links available to download the free Silhouette Studio software for either a Mac or a PC. Once the software is downloaded, go ahead and open up Silhouette Studio. This is what the software looks like when you open it up. You can see that this big square right here is your working digital mat, and that's what we are going to be designing on. By default, you can see that the page setup on the right hand side opens up automatically. There are a couple things to note. You can see that in my workspace, um, it's just kind of a plain white blank area. But if you want and it helps, you can always go ahead to the options and you can show grid in the grid settings if you like that better. But for right now, I am going to keep it the blank white. The first thing that we are going to need to do is we are going to change our width and height for this project. So where it says 12 inches, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna change that to three inches. And the height is also going to change to three inches. You can see that your digital workspace changes with those dimensions. All right, now that we have our page set up, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to start adding some of our words to our workspace. So on the left column menu, we are going to choose the capital A, which is our text, our text tool. Go ahead and click on that A and then click anywhere into your workspace. You can see a giant cursor starts blinking, which is great. It's what we want. Go ahead and type the word red into there. To change the font, which is what we want to do right now, um, you want to click and drag and highlight the word that we just typed in. So you can see that I clicked and dragged, and now the word is blue highlighted. On your right side menu, you're going to look at, you're going to find um, the A with a line to the right of it. So go ahead and click on that. This is our textile panel. You can see we have a ton of different colored, different kinds of fonts. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna find the font called Impact, and that is what we are gonna use for our design today. You can see it's right here. And since our word is already highlighted, once we click on whichever font we are gonna use, it'll automatically update our letters into that font. So we'll go ahead and hit click on Impact. You can see red is now in its new font. Great, so that was the first step. You can go ahead and click anywhere in your workspace to kind of deactivate the word. And now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna repeat these steps um, for the word white and then the word brew. So we're gonna go to that font tool, type in white, highlight it, go to our text style on the right side menu, find impact, and then click out. Do it one more time. We're gonna type in the word brew, highlight it, and then change that font to impact. Now you can move your words around, but don't worry too much about the size right now. We will fix that when we have all the pieces of our design um, in our workspace. All right, next we are going to add an ampersand to our design. So you can do this two ways. Um, there is a link in the instructions, or you can just Google a picture of an ampersand. So, all right, once you find the ampersand that you like using Google, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna right click on it. We're gonna hit save image as. You can name your image whatever you want, but I'm gonna name it ampersand. And just, you don't have to save it to your desktop, but just remember where you save it so you can find it. All right, so after that is done, we're gonna go back to Silhouette Studio. 
we're going to add that image that we just saved. So go ahead and go up to File, choose Merge. You're going to find that image we just saved. So you can see it's on my desktop right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So you can see it's quite large, which is totally fine. Go ahead and just take your time resizing it just so it's a little smaller uh, and not taking up the entire space. And once you've done that, now we have to trace the image so it is ready to cut once we're at that stage. So to go and trace it, we're going to go to the right side menu. And you're going to choose this little butterfly kind of looking icon, which is our trace icon. Go ahead and hit select trace area. And then you're going to click and drag this box over that image. Make sure you get everything in there and then you can release. You can see that that ampersand is now yellow, which is great. That's what we want. And then back in the trace icon panel, we are going to select trace. So once you do that, then you are able to move the original image out of the way and go ahead and just delete that. And you can see that we have, whoops, we have our awesome ampersand image right there. So that's that. That is another part of our design and we are moving along. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to add in stars to our design. So just with the like the ampersand, you are going to go to Google and you can search Google for any star that you like and want to use. All right, so I've found my star that I like. Once again, just like the ampersand, you are going to right click on the image. I'm going to save as name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine star. Again, remember where you're saving it and go ahead and hit save. All right, while we're back in to Silhouette Studio, we're going to once again go to File, Merge. You're going to find that star in your documents and hit OK. So you can see my star is gigantic. So I'm just going to take a few seconds just to resize this right here. Resizing is pretty simple. You're just going to click on the image you want to resize and there's these little white boxes all over it. You're just going to click and drag smaller and smaller. So it's not taking up everything. And just like the ampersand, we are going to trace this image again. And hit trace, you can move the original. And now you can see we have our cute little star. What you want to do is right click on the image and you want to hit duplicate. You can see we have another star the exact same size and everything so you don't have to resize or do much with it. What I want to do is just put it right next to it like that. And then what I want to do, um, because I want them to kind of sit together like this and not move uh, independently from each other, which I'm going to click and drag a box over both of them to activate both of them together. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to scroll down and I am going to group them. Now you can see that if I move them, they move together because they are grouped. And to complete this kind of section of our design, we are going to add a horizontal line um, to the top and bottom of the stars using our rectangle tool. So on the left side menu, you're going to use the drawing tools. Go ahead and select that. And you can kind of click and drag to create your own little stripe here. That looks awesome. When you're happy with it, um, go ahead and go back to the left side menu and click the select icon. Uh, if you don't It'll keep making more rectangles, which is not what we want right now. So you have the option to make your horizontal stripe line um, any size you want, but I'm pretty happy with that. And once you are too, go ahead and click on it, and then you're going to right click. We're going to duplicate. When you have that second um, stripe, go ahead and move it below your stars. You can see they're kind of boxed in together, very patriotic. And then we're going to group this whole 
this whole section of the design. So we want to, oops, I'm going to click and drag a box over all these elements. Go ahead and right click. We are going to choose group. Awesome. So now you can see that these are all together, which is exactly what we want. And you can move elements um, off of your workspace. Just know that when you're printing, um, you want everything together so it's, it's the right size. So now we have all of our elements of our design. And the next step is the fun step um, where we get to move and resize everything in our workspace so it looks how we want it to before we print it. So you do not have to at all follow what I am doing. But this is what I'm, I'm going to make the, the word white a little smaller and have fun with this. This is where you can really kind of customize what you want it to look like. The best thing about this is it's digital, so you can move everything and you're not going to lose anything. You can always undo a move or uh, try something new. It is really up to you how you want it to look. I'm going to make my ampersand a little jaunty. And then we have our stripes and stars, which are great. I'm actually going to duplicate this again so I can have it on both sides of our ampersand to kind of fill out this design. I liked it jaunty, but now I want it a little more straight. All right, that looks pretty awesome. So that is our final design. Super fun, super easy. It uses a lot of different skills and elements in the Silhouette Studio. And then if we were gonna go ahead and print this, um, you would want to click and drag um, all through your elements to grab all of them. You wanna right click and then you would flip it horizontally because anytime you are using heat transfer vinyl, you always wanna make sure that you are printing it um, mirror imaged uh, because then when you heat press it or iron it onto something, it will be the correct way. Thank you for watching and I hope you had fun designing your very own super awesome summer drink koozie. If you have any questions, you can always email us or use the chat feature on our website, which is www.nileslibrary.org.